Well, in tonight's episode, Katie explained that after 12 years together and five years of marriage, she asked Tom for a divorce. So, Schwartz, we have questions about your relationship and where you guys stand today. Um, before we, you went public about your divorce with Post, did everyone in your Bravo crew know what was going on? Yes, like all they the, did. Yes. Yeah, they knew right away. Yes. And they checked in and they were so lovely. Since you've both been so open about Katie being the one to initiate the divorce, did you ever feel like the door was open for a reconciliation if you worked out the issues that she flagged or did not did it seem done from the get-go? In that moment, um, it felt like finality. It felt like a nail in the coffin. I just knew it from her tone, the, like the look on their, her face. I just, I felt it in my soul that it was just done. I could tell a little bit like, Though when you did first initially tell me that it, you were, I, I sort of saw some subtle like changes. Yeah. Right, I was hoping for reconciliation. You were subconsciously. Well, you, you and Katie were both adamant that you didn't want your friends choosing sides. Unlike Lala's situation with Randall, but a lot has gone down since then. Is there anyone that you're surprised to see give you the cold shoulder now? I don't know. I'm this one, Tom. No, I don't think so. Yeah. Um, reaction to Katie referring to Raquel as a fangirl for rocking your Tom Tom merchandise. <laughs> Listen, she, I appreciate, she's she's a, one of our hype girls. I mean, every, a, like, everybody, like, Sheena wears it, Ariana does, like, I mean, a lot of. How often do you two speak? Me and Raquel? No, you and Katie. Oh, um, <laughs> we well, we have joint custody of the dogs. Right. Gordo Butters, I love them very much. So we talk like right. usually once, uh, twice a week. Um, I feel like we're in a pretty good place. I mean, were, it got messy, I'm not gonna lie. It were got, you two faithful to each other during the marriage? Uh, well, I think you guys know, if you've watched the show, I strayed a few times. There were times where I thought the relationship was gonna come to an end, right. and I was a Sloppy douchebag. Right. I went through a very so, sloppy. Schwartz told me. Or, slut. Sandoval told me before the show, you are a makeout slut. You you make out with people. You're not a big. You're not into one night stands, but you make out a lot with yeah. people. I'm yeah. I'm capable of having a one night stand, and they're lovely. But I'm, right. I just I I love how low stakes a good makeout session is. Does your dick function better now that you're out of your marriage? <laughs> It functions differently. Okay. Thank you very much. Thanks for watching. Watch more clips here and subscribe to our channel here. See ya.